everyone praise the Lord today. Someone shout hallelujah to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Someone give glory to the King of glory. Worship him, praise him, adore him, magnify his name. Amen. Today is our third day of praising God for his goodness, his power, his mercy for his wonderful works to the children of men. Amen. There are many benefits to praising God. Let's take a look at a few of them today. One of the benefits is that when we praise God, it lifts our spirit. In the book of Psalms, chapter 62, verse 6, it is written, Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. Amen. So here we are proclaiming God's goodness and we are saying that he is our protection. We are proclaiming who the Lord is. He's our rock, our salvation, our provider, and he vindicates us in all battles. So when we say those things, it reinforces to us who God is to us and it lifts our spirit. Amen. When we praise God, it helps to give us a sense of God's presence. It actually gives us a sense of God's presence because the Bible says God inhabits the praises of his people. In the book of Psalms, chapter 22, verse 3, it is written, But thou art holy, O thou that inhabits the praises of Israel. Amen. So when we praise God, God's presence fills us. Amen. Praise enlarges our perception of God. In the book of Psalms, chapter 69, verse 30, it is written, I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. When we speak about the greatness of God, our challenges pale in comparison. God is bigger than all our problems. When we praise the Lord God, our problems pale in comparison. God is bigger than all our problems in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise also enlists God's protection. When we praise the Lord God, God begins to fight our battles Yesterday, we looked at the second book of Chronicles, chapter 20, and we saw how three enemy nations ganged up against King Jehoshaphat. King Jehoshaphat went to the Lord in prayer, and his prayer was a prayer of praise. And what the king did is that he started to, he had a choir, and when the children of Israel began to sing and praise the Lord in the second book of Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 22. It is written, when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. As they praised and sang, the Lord set confusion into the camp of the enemy, and the enemy were smitten, and the enemy lost the battle. Amen. As we praise the Lord, the Lord God will fight our battles in Jesus' name. Amen. Another thing that praise does is it breaks chains and opens doors. We can see in the Bible, in the book of Acts, 
chapter 16, verses 25 to 26. It is written, And at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. Amen. Paul and Silas, they prayed, they sang, the Holy Ghost came down. Paul and Silas, they prayed, they sang, the Holy Ghost came down. Amen. As we praise the Lord, as we pray and sing praises to the Lord God, the Holy Ghost will come down and immediately the foundations of the prison that are holding us bound will be broken and all our bands, all our chains will be loosed in Jesus' name. Amen.
Psalm 95 O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their heart." and they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Everybody from the back. Everybody rise, rise. From the back. We are let's die. Very from Thank you. Jesus, you deserve, you deserve, you deserve a very big thank you. You deserve a very big thank you, Lord. Lord. You deserve a very big thank you. A very big thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You deserve a very big thank you. You deserve a very big thank you, Lord. You deserve a very big thank you. Don't let them walk. Let them thank you. dance to the front. Thank you deserve a very big thank you. You deserve a very big thank you, Lord. You deserve a very big thank you. A very big thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I have seen, seen the finger of the Lord rewriting my story from story to glory. I have seen the finger of the Lord rewriting my story from glory to glory. I have seen the finger of the Lord rewriting my story from story to glory. I have seen the finger of the Lord rewriting my story from story to glory. I have seen the finger of the Lord rewriting my story from glory to glory. I have seen the finger of the Lord rewriting my story from story to glory. I have seen the finger of the Lord rewriting my story from story to glory. Psalm 100 Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Sing this song loud and clear. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to salvation be exalted. The Lord reigneth. Blessed be my rock. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth tremble. Who reigneth? Let the earth tremble. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth tremble. He reigneth. Let the earth tremble. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth tremble. He reigneth. Let the earth tremble. Let the earth tremble. 
Lord, let the earth tremble. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I. Salvation be exalted. The Lord reigneth. Blessed be my rock. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth tremble. He reigneth. Let the earth tremble. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth tremble. He reigneth. Let the earth tremble. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth tremble. He reigneth. Let the earth tremble. Psalm 111. Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart, in the assembly of the upright, and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endureth forever. He hath made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He hath showed his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are verity and judgment, and all his commandments are sure. They stand fast for ever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant for ever. Holy and reverend is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth for ever. Thanks. Thanks, we give you thanks for all. We are so blessed, and our souls are found rest. Oh Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. thanks. Oh, Jesus, we give you thanks for all
Jehovah, you are the Lord. 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 Lord, we lift up your name above every other name. Jehovah, you are the Lord. Jehovah, Jehovah you are the Lord. So Almighty God, you're the great I am, excellent Jehovah, we praise your name. Almighty God, you're the mighty God, you are the great I am, excellent Jehovah, we praise your name. We praise your name, we praise your name, excellent Jehovah, we praise your name. We praise your name, we praise your name, excellent Jehovah, we praise your name. Psalm 136 O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that made great lights, for his mercy endureth forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endureth forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endureth forever and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever. With a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endureth forever, and made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which smote great kings, for his mercy endureth forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endureth forever. And gave their land for an heritage, for his mercy endureth forever. Even an heritage unto Israel his servant, for his mercy endureth forever. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endureth forever, and hath redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever. Who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. Shout and loud, hallelujah. In louder, hallelujah. Raise up your two hands as you sing this loud and clear. That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called Jehovah.
da pila da oh, manga. You are the pila da oh, my love. Master Jesus, you are the pila da. And cause a bass of iron is sunder. He has broken the gates of brass. And cause a bass of iron is sunder. He has broken. He has broken the gates of brass. Hallelujah. Psalm 145 I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name for ever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name for ever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works, and men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works." All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom, and talk of thy power, to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts, and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall, and raiseth up all those that be bowed down." The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand, and satisfiest the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry, and will save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name for ever and ever. You have done so much for me, I cannot tear it all. If you 
didn't hear it before, hear it again. You have done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. If I have ten thousand tongues, it still won't be enough. When you hear, you hear completely.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Wave your hands to the Almighty God. The Bible says he's one that he is and he is to come, Alpha and Omega. Just wave your hands to him and say good things to him. He's worthy, there is no one like him. We worship you, Lord. Father, we worship you. Bless his holy name. Appreciate it. Adonai, we worship you. Son of God, you are so good, almighty God, I love thy name, your dominion is forevermore, Adonai, Adonai. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. 
Psalm 18 I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken, because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub, and did fly, yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place, his pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters, he delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me, because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful. With an upright man thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure thou wilt show thyself pure. And with the froward thou wilt show thyself froward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but wilt bring down high looks. For thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect, the word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord, or who is a rock save our God? 
It is God that girdeth me with strength, and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet, and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them, neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet, for thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places." The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avengeth me, and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies, yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed for evermore. If you are in this auditorium and you know that God has been so faithful to you, can you lift up your hands above your head and begin to wave it to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? The one who is worthy, the ancient of this, the I am that I am, the one who is able to rewrite story, the one who is able to do exceedingly abundantly everything you could ever ask or imagine. Open your mouth and bless God this morning. Open your mouth and bless Him this morning. Give Him all the glory, give Him all the honor, give Him all adoration. Thank Him for His faithfulness. Thank Him for His faithfulness. Thank Him for His faithfulness. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Can you pick any song of worship wherever you are? And begin it to sing. And begin to sing it to the King of Kings. And begin to sing it to the King of Glory. Open your mouth and let God hear you this morning. I am that I am. Almighty King, lift your voice to Jesus this morning. your hands above your head singing worthy worthy This morning, lift your voice in Wadi Wadi Rabatusia Panakaya Daya. Oh, 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 oh. 